Hi all, in this video we will be discussing login Spring Boot application. We will be using Spring Boot 3.3.4 Java 17 and we will use IntelliJ IDEA. So in this video we will be covering what is actually a login means and why we need to use the login concept in Spring Boot. So we will create a simple web application and we will create a simple controller and we will explain the different uh, logging format and we will analyze the different uh, logging configuration uh, with logger, logger factory method, log level, trace, warn and we will also configure using logback configuration where we will change the logging pattern, color and we will analyze the different properties. Uh, lastly, we will discuss the log4j2 configuration. So let's start with the video. Before going ahead with the video, I would request you please subscribe to the channel to get daily videos on Java, Spring Boot, Microservices and STPI. So what is actually logging means and why we need to log the application. So the Spring Boot application, we need logging because for recording information, actions, events within the application. So because uh, it is also used for monitoring the performance of the application, understanding the behavior of the application, recognizing if there is any different issues or API fail in the applications. It also offers some of the flexible logging capabilities by providing a different logging framework, as I said, a log4j, SLF4j, and many other logging framework. So now let's create a simple web application and we will understand the functionality of the logging features. We will go to this start.spring.io. I will use Java as a language, Maven as a project and 3.3.4 is a Spring Boot application. Group is com.deepdeveloper and artifact I will use logging and you can mention any description understanding or use case of logging features use packages jar and java 17 so to work with this logging concept we will use a simple uh, dependencies call Spring Web because by default in Spring Web we have starter web and we will use the logging concept from this Spring Web. So we will generate and I will open in IntelliJ. As we see that logging project is being imported, I will go to this form.xml file, then I will add as Maven project, right click. There is an option called add as Maven project. So it will import all the, all the dependency and if we see that there is a dependency is called spring starter web so in, within this spring starter web we have spring boot starter logging i will show that also before that i will go to this file main java and application file so here I will create a simple controller having the API called slash log. So we will just understand the logging mechanism for that purpose I am creating the API. So if we just uh, expand this external library, so we can see that the packages like SLF4j has been imported. If we see that SLF4j is being imported, it is provided by the Spring Boot and if we see that there is a one uh, dependencies called Spring Boot Starter Login. So this is this part of Spring Boot Starter OF. And also the other we have logback. This dependency also being imported. So let me create a simple get API. So I will create one package called controller. Just a minute new package 
controller on that i will create file call log controller rest controller i will create a simple get method so we'll uh, understand the by default what are the features provided by the logging functionalities the get mapping slash log so i will run the application so application is started successfully and if we see that uh, what about the things printing on the console this is called the logs so we'll just uh, hit that api we have created and we'll check if by default any log is printed or not so i will go to this tab only and i will open localhost 8080 slash log this i am log is being um, returned but there is no log is created so for that i will be using called loggers and from that i will be using log factory method so before going ahead with the video I, there is one question that uh, instead of log factors or logger or sla4j can you use uh, system.out.print ln with the log message because uh, that may also print uh, uh, the logger statement uh, please tell me know if we can use that also so i will go to this log controller logger this logger will be imported from org.sla4j is a call logger factory dot get logger and the class name because this class name is log controller dot class So by default, we have few of the few of the methods. I will write that also. So by default, uh, they have info, debug, and error. This uh, these labels, and we have added trace and warning as well. But we need to enable this in uh, application dot properties file. We will enable that, but uh, let's rerun the application and we'll check if any logs is created on running the hitting the api or not so before that uh, i will just uh, uh, go this point to, uh, to explain you what are the log format because there is some in logging the some date is being printed in the console if you see date info and uh, some numbers uh, some class some message so what is this actually means we'll go to this official documentation and if we just scroll down a little bit so so in the first and the date time is being there with a millisecond and after that the label like error warning and info debug stress what are these uh, labels actually means so the error means it is used for non recoverable error warning it is used for recoverable error and info it is used for audit purpose and debug it is used for investigation stress it is used for details investigation means if any which api is being heated which class is being executed so um, that things uh, we can got it from the uh, stress so um, after that the time then this is and the level of uh, the um, logs and it is the process id and it is the application name after that if we see that collection id if there is any enabled then logger name and this is the this is the logger name this uh, example my application 
after that the log message so if we will see that our application is still not uh, started so while it is being started so i'll explain a little bit concept uh, we have explained the different uh, log labels and log uh, log things and we'll be also enabling log colors so if you see that uh, by default the uh, everything is showing as uh, white and, uh, let me let it uh, uh, run the application first so this application is uh, started and we'll hit that api because uh, we have just now added few of the logs so we'll go back and i will refresh this page i have refreshed two three times if you see that in controlled um the warning info these things are there if you see that type as one info uh, error uh, those things coming but what about this trace and uh, sorry uh, stress uh, debug what about those two level so for that we need to enable uh, in the uh, application dot properties file so i will go to this application dot properties file and expand resources and i will add those configuration i have added the configuration uh, this means uh, by default as i said said error info and one will be printed so if we check that previous printed message the one info error is only there and everything in the log we see those three uh, label only so to enable debug and stress we need to uh, use as key debug and stress as uh, sorry value as true so as also why we want to have this uh, uh, info or error in red info in green so for this color con combination we need to enable and see enable equal to always and also uh, if we see that which color printed uh, uh, for what level you can go to this cell documentation and if you see that error is red warning is yellow info is green so i run the application before that uh, there's a one uh, file path i have added called logs doing that logging dot files dot path uh, in this path and this file the all the logs will be stored if you go to this official documentation i run the application i show you that also but no need to worry uh, if you see then uh, so in that uh, the all the details is being there the application that dot properties file there are other properties file also you can just read to the official documentation to get uh, the like, more knowledge so i will hit the api for that i need to run the run the application i will run the application so the application is running and we, if we see that as compared to the previous uh, run so there is lot of uh, the logs is being printed this with stress and if we see that message now so um the message will be there and the which from which class uh, the logs is being uh, created that those things all the things will be there i'll just uh, go back to end of this file and if there is an error so that error will be also printed so because we have enabled those things also right so i will go to this end of the console and i will run the app uh, i will hit the api so i have uh, refreshed the this page and if you see that the logs is being printed so if you clearly observe that they have, they have called we have called na uh, slash get slash get it is a get method with slash uh, api slash log api and uh, all the things if you see that uh, logger controller get log slash function is being called slash log function is being called and it is i am log uh, the response it's being printed so like that it will be printed and also one more things we have uh, uh, see this color also and uh, if we go, if we check that we have also uh, enabled uh, this logging functionality and put uh, those logs on the application dot log so let me check whether those is created or not if you see that this log folder is created and if we expand this this application dot log file also created so if we see that all the details things is being stored for that i will just stop the application all this is being stored in this uh, uh, call application dot logs whatever the uh, statement we have printed all this thing is being uh, added in this application 
dot logs file so did how to uh, enable colors and how to log into the files now we'll be using a logging concept uh, with logback configuration so we'll be using uh, for the logback configuration uh, we can use logback uh, spring.xml by default um, it will be override whatever the default configuration is there and we'll be using our custom configuration on there also whatever the application dot progress file you have mentioned you can do that part on this uh, log back on spring.xml file also with uh, some of the properties and a rolling policy and all the other con related configuration so if you're still watching the video video i will request you please subscribe to the channel and if you have any issue you can ask me on the comment section so i will create a simple file called logback spring.xml so if you um, go to this uh, official documentation they have uh, they have mentioned this is logback xml file so if we check that custom logback uh, custom log uh, configuration so you can use uh, logback in logback we need to override this logback spring.xml method sorry files and logback log 4 j 2 we need to customize this log 4 j 2 spring.xml file and this is the uh, this is the environment or the set of property we'll be using so let me create that on uh, and also we need to create that on a resource file only so i will go to this and create file i will quickly add the configuration details in here i have created the logback uh, spring.xml uh, file with the configuration appenders and the ruling policy so this will create one my app dot log file if you want to know more about uh, this uh, configuration related to logback uh, or log 4j so you can watch uh, you can go to my channel and watch those related video or i'll i will run the i will run the application we'll see that my app will be uh, my app dot log will be created so this is one of the functionality to uh, execute the logging things so i will run the application uh, if you see that uh, application is uh, run successfully and uh, the nothing is being uh, logged but we'll check whether that uh, yeah my app dot log is being created so because uh, by default we are uh, previously by default we are running uh, the logger mechanism but uh, here we are customized and override the default logger me mechanism provided by the spring boot so that's the reason the previous log things are not being uh, printed on the console instead uh, it is stored on the uh, my app uh, dot log file so uh, we will go back and i will hit this uh, api so i have clicked two three times so it is being um, executed properly and those uh, logs are being stored on the this my app dot log file so i will go to, to the this uh, yeah so here we have uh, completed almost all the things and so for this uh, logging with the log 4j configuration uh, we, we have also this log 4j spring.xml configuration you can watch my uh, videos uh, to understand more about this uh, log 4j configuration so please subscribe to the channel to get uh, videos on spring boot microservices thank you for watching the video